Hey, all right, so welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you're a first time viewer to the channel, thank you so much. Uh, I don't even really know where to start to be honest, so I'll just go right from the top. Um, those of you who are new to the channel, based off of the uh, reel from Instagram, uh, thank you for coming, thank you for watching, thank you for being here. Uh, those of you that do not know or don't really follow me on the social media thing, I had a video, um, an Instagram reel that I don't know, I guess you could say it went viral. Um, I got 30, over 30,000 views in like 48 hours, which was, whew, I don't even know why it did it. Um, it just blew up on social media. So if you're here because of that, thank you very much. I appreciate you checking me out, checking the car out, and looking what we're doing here on uh, Gym City Welding. So, why are you here today? You're here because we're gonna talk about convertible body mounts and why those are important on 58 to 64 Impalas. Uh, lots of questions, I get this all the time. Uh, kind of elaborated a little bit, or alluded to this on the last video that I wanted to put convertible body mounts on this car. And the question I always get is, why would you put convertible body mounts on a hard top body? Very good question. So I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna grab the phone here and bring you a little closer and show you why you wanna do, why you wanna do those things. So 5864s, mostly 62 or 63 to 64s, develop this nice little crack right here in the body. And the reason that whole thing happens is because these cars with the X frame are prone to twisting. The, the frame, inherently the design isn't really what I would say, you know, the most desirable for the, a car this size, this big. Um, and as a matter of fact, in 65, uh, the, I believe the U.S. Highway Administration kind of forced the hand of General Motors to change the X frame to a perimeter frame, which we're more familiar with now on like your Cadillacs, your Lincolns, your G-Bodies. Um, that sort of thing, where you have actual protection at the door uh, and crash protection versus like on this car, if you look at the 64, this basically from about right here to about right somewhere in here, there is no protection on this side of the car. The frame goes in at an X. And I'll try and throw maybe like a little diagram or picture or something to better explain that. If you've been following along on the channel through the whole chassis fabrication stage, then, then you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. So inherently, it's a, it's a terrible design, to be honest with you. Um, and the frames are, um, for lack of a better term, they're, they're like prone to twisting. Um, so when you put hydraulics or altered suspension on one of these cars, well, you're just making that problem even worse especially in a car that does not have a reinforced box frame. So there are ways to help eliminate that problem. And one of those ways is to add convertible body mounts. Now, I, uh, I have something very special to show you. Um, my very good friend, Max, who you've seen on the channel many times, we've talked about him. Uh, we did the interview with him on the channel. Uh, great guy, uh, hell of a fabricator. I commissioned him to build me an actual set of convertible body mounts. And, um, cause Max, that's kind of one of his specialties other than his like, um, a -R, upper A arm, lower A arms. I mean, the guy can do it all, but he, you know, he makes convertible body mounts, which is great because, um, he's got it dialed in. I mean, the guy's got it figured out. And so inevitably I wanted to put these on the car. I always have. And to help eliminate that stress of the problem, like we talked about with the body. That guy right there. So what we have and what Max has sent me, I'll go ahead and show you, are these bad boys right here. These are absolutely incredible. Uh, again, Max uh, had him, you know, commissioned him to make these for me. Uh, he produces these for sale on his, uh, you can get a hold of him through social media, you know, shoot him a message and explain to him what you're doing and he'll get you hooked up. But Max does a heck of a job with these. Um, they do work with a standard body bushing. So this would be something like you can buy, you know, online or through companies like Restoration World, which I've showed you guys on the channel. But they work, at, you know, like a stock convertible frame would have. 
and that's and actually I'm, I'm glad I remembered that. So, so what we have here are four convertible body mounts. So these are the mounts that would be on the frame itself that uh, the hardtop frame does not have. And basically, these two go up somewhere in this area on the frame, and then the two larger ones go on the back just about where that split is in the body somewhere on the frame right there and what i'll actually do is i'll get the car jacked up here in a minute and we'll kind of sort of mock one up and show you what i'm talking about but max uh he fabricates these um excellent ex excuse me excellent quality i mean the guys the guys got it dialed in he's got it figured out just absolute beautiful piece of artwork here so I'm honored and proud to have these on the frame. Um, it's gonna help stiffen up the body considerably and take out some of that flex from the frame. Um, now, you know, there's there's gonna be two sides to every story, two sides to every coin, depending on how you look at it. There are guys who will absolutely swear that this is not necessary. And then the other side will say, yeah, it's probably the best thing you could do to the car. Um, I would probably fall on the ladder of that argument um i feel like it's i feel like it's a great investment to make on a car uh sp specifically one of these cars and at the end of the day um you know max i, I believe he sells these for 250 on his website that's that's fully fully done um sent to you for me the insurance that it provides with the body because I'm not doing like a wild paint job on this car at least i don't have the intention on doing that i just want kind of like a factory OG paint job, um, taking some of that flex out of the body is going to help with that considerably. And for 250 bucks, if you ask me, it's worth every penny. Um, so I, I, I see, you know, that's the side that I see. Um, do you have to have these on a hydraulic car? No, you do not. But you do take the risk of inevitably twisting the, the, the chassis and the body. So just food for thought, something to consider. Um, but again, I'm honored to have these. I'm proud to put these on the car. It's going to be awesome. So I will get you guys set up. Let me get this thing jacked up and then we'll kind of sort of like mock one up on the frame and show you what I'm talking about. So here we go. Okay, everyone. So Bear with me, I know it's not exactly the best camera angle or quality here, but it's just me in my garage, let's keep that in mind. So, long story short, this would be driver's side uh, frame rail underneath like the driver's seat area. Um, this here, this cross member is the one where the, on a convertible, it would actually bolt to. Um, something to take note though, on a non-convertible vehicle such as this one, the convertible would have a cage nut installed inside this cross member. So if you're gonna do this modification to an existing car and frame, you need to be careful because you're gonna to have to either A, replace the cross member, or B, open up the top side of the floor to weld in the cage nut that will attach the body mount to this hole right here. Um, of course, this does not have that, but I'm replacing this entire floor uh, this cross member is going to be replaced so that, you know, you're going to see that on a future video. I, I don't know when that's going to be, so just bear with me. But basically the way this thing works is we have your standard body bushing. Okay. Your, this is the front body mount that uh, I had made for this car. All you would have to do is install the body bushing itself, put this on the frame, now, of course, these can be trimmed a little bit and that sort of thing. Um, but you would want to put this in the location where that would go, that would fall, um, and be perfectly lined up. Uh, you know, in a perfect world, if we had the cage nut inside that, um, inside of this cross member, I would be able to tack, you know, tack these corners of the, of the body mount. And it's just as simple as welding them on, running a bolt through it and bolting it down. It's... It's pretty straightforward, um, and keep in mind your your Canadian uh, frames, your American frame, 
non-convertible will not have these it's it's the convertibles that came factory with them okay so we're just basically replicating what gm did you know 60 years ago so let me move to the back side of the car get the camera set back up and i'll show you what the back side in theory would be too so hang tight Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so here we go. Uh, excuse the cobwebs and the mess. The car's been off the road. It's 85. It's not exactly perfect under here. So, um, again, same same scenario. Only this body mount is considerably longer, and for good reason. It's distance it has to go to, to line up with the rear uh, cross member uh, is obviously a lot bigger. But it still uses the standard bushing, so no difference there. Um, and there is some wiggle room and play in this bushing, which they're, they're all, they all should be nothing, you know, there's tolerances that the factory allotted for these vehicles and that sort of thing. So let me get this to where I can show you on the frame how that's going to go. So, so in a nutshell, that's it. I, I hope that you know, makes sense to a lot of people, but this, this body mount and of course the corresponding passenger side mount that goes with it, you know, really does the trick with stiffening up these cars. I don't think anybody would argue that. Um, it's just, you know, it is, it is a little bit of work, but in the end of the day, it's, it's going to be worth it, you know, because if you got, <laughs> what if, what's Tweet always talk about on King of Chevy's that and, and Punchy was talking about, they got $40,000 paint jobs, Just, you know, you don't want to, your quarter panels cre you know, creasing, uh, because you didn't want to put a $250 set of body mounts on there. It's just not worth it. So you get the idea, folks. It's that simple. Um, I would be able to just tack it to the frame. If, if this had the cage nut in it, I could bolt it on there and we'd be home free. But so this, you know, hopefully this makes sense to a lot of folks. So let me get out from under here and uh, we'll finish up the video. So hang on. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's just gonna about wrap it up for the uh, video on the convertible body mounts. Again, um, hit up Max, tell him Jim City Welding sent you and that you would like to have some convertible body mounts on your frame. I promise you, you will not regret it. And also try to remember that when you're looking at buying these uh, convertible body mounts, uh, Max does the uh, makes these in three sixteenths versus um, the stamped ones that are eighth inch plate. So these are already reinforced. So keep that in mind. That's to me that's money well spent. Uh, Two hundred fifty bucks plus shipping. Uh, hit up Max. Tell him. Um, and again, a big shout out to Max. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Uh, and then it's also got some other quick shout outs and yes, I've resulted to writing on cereal boxes because cereal boxes make great template material. So, uh, again, quick shout outs, uh, Raider Defender 222, get that Impala, get it, don't wait, get it now. Trust me, you're going to want to do that soon if you can. Uh, Andrew Bortz, thank you buddy for watching. D-Town Warrior, um, thank you for all the kind words. I really appreciate that a lot. Um, it, it means a lot, so thank you very much. Uh, this next one, I'm going to completely butcher this name. Forgive me if this is you. Uh, so, so, seal, S O S O S Y A L. Uh, thank you for the support. I really appreciate the, the kind words. Thank you very much. And um, last but not least, AC Garcia. Uh, 61 Impalas. Wow, beautiful cars, great car. If you can find one out there where you live, get it. Um, just do like Lou, like I'm doing. If you got two brothers, start from the ground and work your way up to the top and uh, chase that dream, make that happen, and uh, get you that car, buddy. So, until next time, thank you for everyone tuning in. Thank you for all the new viewers. I appreciate the support. Please like, share, subscribe, tell everybody what we're doing here. More content to come. A uh, little slow going right now just because I've got so much going on, but I'm, I'm trying to get those videos back out there. So thank you again for everything, and uh, hit me up if you have any questions about the topic today. And until next time, peace, take care, and we'll see you later.